Joining us now are Kristen Carey and Dennis W. Hall. Hello to the two of you. Oh my God, it's so great seeing you. It's been so long. I know, it's great so nice to see you. Nice but it's been so long to talk to you and actually see you. It's kind of our anniversary because the Garden State Film Festival is right around now. It's happening soon. Yeah, That's so what was it, three years ago? Yeah, so happy anniversary to us. Yay. Oh. So, so we met, I was sitting on a bar stool and um, you guys were sitting next to me and we were just having like a little bite to eat at the Garden State Film Festival. And we turned around and we realized that we had so much in common. And I think for me, that's what the joy is of going to some of those events. It's like the networking is awesome. You have a lot of fun and you get to see a lot of good work. Yeah, it's true. We Did got to be it was awesome. It was awesome, <laughs> yeah. plus it was my hometown, so. That's what I was gonna say, to Neptune, right? Home. <laughs> yeah, Neptune yeah. next to Asbury, yeah. Yeah. Dennis, turn around. Do you have, like, gills or anything? Like, you know, I always wonder if those people that grow up on the water have, like, extra <laughs> gills or something. Oh, my God. We used, to, we used to dive all the time. Well, I learned. I got my uh, certified scuba diving in Jersey there, which you can see about maybe six inches in front of your face. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we used to swim all the time, dive off the docks where I lived down the street. was the river at the end of my street, and... It was a blast. I love Jersey. Everyone so thinks cool. of like Hoboken or like Bayonne, like the factories and when they hear Jersey, but it's the Garden State. They don't realize it's so beautiful. You drive down the Garden State Parkway and it's And they make tomatoes. They make Jersey tomatoes there. Oh my God. It's like the best tomatoes, the best corn. Uh, yeah, really great produce. Now, now, Kristen, you both of you are uh, in the biz. You're both uh, actors, working actors, doing great things. Did Kristen, did you guys meet on a set? How did you meet Dennis? We did. We got cast in a film, uh, actually a wonderful award-winning award -winning short film, The Cross, and we got paired up in the callback, and we ended up getting cast together as estranged husband and wife. And, and she couldn't stand me after the table read. She was like, oh, I got to work with this ass. Was... <laughs> no, he was wonderful. And then we just, it just, we hit it off. It was a really fun set early morning. So you had to just kind of be in it, in the trenches with each other. And he's such a wonderful actor. I, it was nice to be across someone who was so good. But she really couldn't stand me after the table read. And she's lying right now. She literally couldn't stand me. And then we had like 3 a.m. call time brutal in this really sleazy bar downtown LA, like three, four days in a row. And then, you know, I'm like a leech, I, you know, grew on her. Either that, Dennis, was it his baking that made you uh, fall in love with him? So Dennis, you yes. are extraordinary. Not only are you an artist, you know, it, on the big screen, but you're uh, an artist in the little screen, like your own kitchen plate. I mean, tell us about your baking masterpieces. That, so that was all from boarding, boredom of the pandemic. Uh, no, I just got, I got my baguettes down. I always wanted to learn how to make baguettes. So I learned that. And then I don't know how I got into it. I'm, I'm like, hey, let me make a nice apple pie from scratch. <laughs> got into that. And then I, very, I was like, oh, just fooling around the razor blade. Cut like some butterflies, flowers, and put them on it just for the hell of it. And then... I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. And then for somehow, I don't know how we jumped from there. I was like, ah, oh, artwork. I thought of artwork. So it was like the Picasso self-portrait. Uh, and that's where it started. So then I've done like seven art pies. So all hand cut, Ugh. pieces of dough, hand painted with food, all edible, food coloring. And you know, I did uh, the last, uh, what was it? Uh, Magritte, uh, the uh, Great War. I did... Um, Starry, starry night. Yeah, starry, starry night. You did Scream. Uh, the Scream I did. Um, yeah, so it's cool. I, actually, I'm going to do another one, I think. But Good it was, for you. It was, like I said, just to keep productive. Like, nothing was happening during pandemic when it all first started. We were, I mean, we didn't know how long it was going to last of nothing. I know. So, you know did you guys? You just, but, yeah. You know, we got the self-studio set up. Learned yes. how to do that, which everything is self-taped now, all auditions. Chill, right. You know, like the whole industry is changing. So, but it was great for us. I mean, it was awesome, actually. Yeah. Like I said, the baking, uh, we learned this, the studio setup, got all that done. You know, lighting, the backdrops, and just learning everything, you know. And, uh, yeah, so for us, it was actually, 
it was great, you know, a little downtime. Started studying, uh, learning Italian a little bit on Rosetta Stone. And Wow. So you guys kept busy. You kept being, no, but you guys kept being creative and creative together. And you know what's so funny? After I met you a few years ago, um, every time now, because you guys have been in a lot of stuff. I mean, you guys are really, you're kind of famous, right? So it was fun because all of a sudden I'd be watching, no, I'd be watching something. I'd be watching with Matthew and I'd be like, ah. There's Chris, and I'd be like, oh, there's Dennis. You know, he's like, okay, mom, I know that you know them. He goes, we, we just want to, he just wanted to enjoy the watching it. But I got she so just into got it. She just got shot the other night. She <laughs> just got shot the other night on NCIS yes. Los Angeles. Yes. She was a scientist at the beginning, and then, yeah, looks and oh my God, and gets shot. So yeah, that, that was, was a scary. Funny. That was a scary one. Um, but, yeah. and then you also just did a film, Kristen. Weren't you guys up, uh, upstate New York, doing something too, shooting something? Yeah, we did, well, a couple things. We did a wonderful film called The Bountress, where uh, I play a, a female, uh, a, I, I train bountresses, female bountresses, um, in an academy that I run. And Dennis played, obviously. The scumbag they were looking for. A bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot oh, your man. character. <laughs> the sleazy low life they were looking, gunning for, the female bounty hunters, you know, typical roles. Yeah, typical But roles. then we also... We were in Jersey uh, to shoot Peter Fairley's new movie, um, The Greatest Beer Run Ever, um, with Russell Crowe, Bill Murray, um, and Oscar winner Peter Fairley. So it was a ball to be back in Jersey shooting that. And it's, uh, it's a good Efron. Film. What, honey? Working with Zach Efron, it was great. Yeah. It, was, it was awesome. I hope someday we get to do a little project together. I don't know what it would be, but I look forward to that. I just like spending time with you. And I also wanted to tell you, thank you for being so gracious because, you know, my cousin is just getting into the business and, you know, your guidance is so helpful. The fact that you've already made it into the business and you're, you know, working actors and you're always trying to strive for your own career. But the fact that you give back to others, I just think is extraordinary. So I just wanted to recognize the two of you for that because you're generous, you're kind, you're awesome people. Um, and you're accessible. Yeah, but, and, and you, but you put that out and that's what you attract. Like you were so awesome. We just lo literally, we loved yeah. meeting you. We just, <laughs> we just had a blast. We're like, oh my God, we got to keep in contact with her. She was just so, so awesome. And, Thank you. You know. Like, and, Donna, and Donna McKenna also amazing. Yes, what yes. a great gal. My oh, dear really Donna cool. McKenna, big shout out to her. Um, and then Kristen, yes. also you were in, um, not too long ago, Lucifer. Right? And yeah. so <laughs> Lucifer, and then we've just been seeing you guys a lot. So continued success in all the different things that you're doing. And then hopefully we'll see you like, I don't know, I feel like I want to see the two of you, you know, playing that loving couple that you are in real life. I think somebody should do a documentary on, oh, on your, on your really, joy. Oh, you're so sweet. Real quick, Donna, Dennis is, uh, he's in the Lakers project that's out right now. So really on cool. Adam McKay's yeah, I think I'm in like the last episode. I'm uh yeah. I think the last episode I play one of the Lakers talent scouts. I got like the full dark beard, dark brown hair piece. And it looks really cool. We're at the uh, the big conference table. So I think I'm in the last episode. And then I got a really cool scene with um, Holly Hunter in two weeks. Wow. Uh, Mr. Mayor starts tomorrow night, season two with Ted Danson. Hey. And so I'm on the third episode. But really cool scene with I love Holly Hunter. Uh, I started acting in 1987 when Raising Arizona came out. And that was like, that's like one of my favorite movies ever. And to finally get to work with her, it was just, it was surreal. And just not on top of, they say, you know, be careful meeting, you know, like your idols. Because a lot of them are disappointment. And it was like, she was just so loving and sweet. And just to watch her work and to be committed still and passionate and blocking everything out, like, while the cameras weren't rolling, doing all the work in her head. It was like just so wonderful to watch, you know, and just from the, th we come from the theater background and it was just, you know, it was just fantastic. So never give up, you know, and it's, you know, it's like 35 years later, it took me finally to work with her and here we are. And yeah, just I'm happy. awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I'm happy for you that you had that moment. Uh, not too long ago, I interviewed um, Marty Croft, you know, from sitting Marty Croft for all those I, shows. I'm on Instagram with him now. But, no, really? Uh, I love tell him that you, Yeah, well, so tell him, just say, hey, I just was on the Donna Drake show. It was so we much were. fun because, you know, 
for me, that's where creativity started. So I also fangirl on people I get to work with too. So I got it. I understand like the Holly Hunter moments, all those fun moments. We're lucky that we got to grow up to do things that we really are passionate about, that we really love. And I guess that's yeah. one of the reasons I want to have you on is that I just wanted other people to be inspired by your story to say, if you know, if we collectively can do it, that they can do it too. And but I my lovely and my my lovely wife, all because of the acting. So. Oh, but the one thing that was really important during the pandemic, and even just, you know, and you, I'm sure you do it too, is I giving back, like you say, is really important. Whether it be helping young actors, or which I love to do all the time, and and do seminars for free. There's no being paid for any of this stuff, just to help guide people. And Dennis does it too. But I also started a nonprofit, Donna. I don't know if you know about it. No. Um, it's called the giving station LA and we are supplying, um, backpacks and school kits and hygiene kits for kids in the title one right now. It's just in Los Angeles, but our goal obviously is to go nationwide and have a giving station in every city providing hygiene kits and just people that just don't have enough right now. Um, and so that's what I've actually been keeping pretty busy at as well as the acting. So I love that. Well, I have a lot of, uh, great, you know, sponsors that sponsor the show. I have a lot of great things and I have access to a lot of good things. So I'll just send you a care package that you can, you know, dole out and, and put in some, uh, things, boxes of goodness. Okay. Thank you. Oh, You're thank welcome. You. Bye guys. Happy. Well, we got we to gotta get together soon. Yes. Whatever it is. Absolutely. Uh, back in Jersey would be awesome, and Asbury, I want to go back so bad. So okay, yeah. so you come We're here, coming I'll back. go there. We'll, we'll, okay, we'll call you. All right, or I'll or come out to you to guys. LA, yeah, okay. I'll just get, get on a plane. Yeah, I'll just get on a plane to come out and hang out with you guys. All right, bye. That'd as long awesome. as you put, as long as you put some pie crust in the oven for me, okay, Dennis? Uh, yes. I'm, okay. I'm gonna get ready working on my next one. So. All right, bye guys. <laughs> bye bye. I'll see you bye, later. Bye, I love you. Love you too. Bye bye. Bye.